بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ صلی اللہ محمد و علیہ محمد ڈیئر ویورس دس از ڈاکٹر محمد علی ایٹ یور اون پلیٹ فارم ڈاکٹر ایم علی اسٹرالوجر وی آر اباؤٹ ٹو واچ واٹ ہیز نیور بین شون پریویسلی آن آن دا سوشل میڈیا یو ٹیوب اسپیشلی فرام پاکستان آئی ایم ناٹ ٹرائنگ ٹو ٹیک دا پریولیج But this specific uh, segment, uh, Weekly Astrology from Pakistan, uh, it is for our international audience and uh, especially the people who are uh, not able to understand what we have been talking in the past in our native language, our mother language, Urdu. Um, it is for uh, creating ease for the people who are interested in uh, knowing about uh, the weekly horoscope in accordance with their zodiac signs. So we, are, we have just tried to facilitate those audience, audiences rather, to translate the week in accordance with the zodiac signs uh, so that the people may, uh, uh, you can say, the people may plan their uh, upcoming week in accordance with what we are trying to narrate on this um, specific horoscope segment. One thing I would like to clear about uh, the horoscope thing before I proceed is that each and everything presented in this segment is um, it's, it's totally based on calculation. It's sort of an algorithm that uh, we are trying to Uh, narrate but it's like physics it's like chemistry the, uh, or mathematics in which we present different formula and we come up with certain questions with certain uh, numerical uh, problems and we apply apply those formula formula and we come up with an, with an answer so take it this way it's not a divine knowledge it's a secular knowledge and we we just have to uh, ponder uh, over the situation of the current scenario and we'll try to connect uh, your recent past with this upcoming uh, week. So let's start with the first zodiac sign and that is Aries. Aries, uh, this week you'll be feeling uh, better about work and uh, The reason being Mercury is uh, is about to end its retrogradation. So you may get clear on your uh, VN that can be a long-term VN for your career, for your family and uh, for you to move ahead uh, with some kind of fair, fairly big projects or uh, some sort of good opportunities. So it would be, uh, year, uh, it would be a week to plan these uh, uh, opportunities given to you from the nature's side. And it may also be easier to communicate. Uh, the communication in this uh, week will be, uh, will be more liquid as far as the communication that was uh, related to your past week or past month or you can say a past year. But from this week onwards, your communication will be more liquid uh, with your uh, co-workers, with your seniors, or you can say with uh, the head of the families, the people who are uh, the heads, like your father, your um, grandfather, your, um, uh, be, uh, your elder uncle, people like those. And... Uh, Uh, talking in terms of astrology, uh, I would say that the moon, uh, the moon will uh, be in Aquarius. It will be a new moon, and uh, um, you will you will find sort of uh, uh, support from the people. You can say, and uh, the support will come from the people in your social life. Uh, that will come from your work life. That will come from the friends. That will come from the family. And uh, uh, this will give boost and support to your 
प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ एंड योर सोशल लाइफ योर इवन मैरिटल लाइफ सो बी हैप्पी दैट द पीपल आर गोइंग टू सपोर्ट यू इन दी इन दीज इन दैवर्स वट आई हैव टोल्ड एंड यू मे बी एडिंग अप डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टास्क टू योर कैलेंडर टू योर स्कैजलिंग दैट विल आई मीन एंड अप इन अ वेरी गुड शेप लाइक बींग एक्सेप्टेड फ्रॉम द पीपल द प्लान्स दैट यू आर गोइंग टू चार्ट आउट द प्लान्स दैट यू आर going to speak about they'll be they'll be well complimented by the people so it's a, a good week ahead for aries so cheer up now uh, let's move to the next zodiac sign that is taurus and uh, i would like to say one thing i i i'm doing this segment because of the audience that sends me a lots of messages uh, over the phone in my email and uh, they call me as well that we uh, we must i must i mean narrate the horoscope in uh, uh, in english also i would try to narrate it in french in uh, swedish in arabic as well uh, but for the time being let's let's try and hope for the best that this uh, segment in english that gets well with gets along very well with the international audience and the people living in pakistan as well who are um, very well aware of this english terminology in uh, for the zodiac signs so uh, moving to taurus uh, taurians uh, this year as i have told in my previous vid- videos um, on other channels that this year 19 uh, uh, sorry 2023 will be ruled by uh, gemini gemini means uh, mercury it's the year of mercury and it's the year of venus so uh, mercury is the lord of communication and verbal expression it uh, it uh, depicts your uh, quick thinking as well so moving uh, to the taurus uh weekly horoscope um uh, torians will be very optimis- uh, optimistic this week because of the reason that mercury is uh on a on a back seat uh, back seat it's lo- now into its uh, uh, final position of retrogradation that is going to end so mercury will stay it will it was in retrogradation but now retrogradation uh, gradation will end and this will uh, create a positive inf- uh, impact over the uh, thinking of taurians as well like all of the zodiac signs but mostly taurians will be thinking more optimistically this week and uh, uh, the taurians would be very much inspired in writing um in speaking out the ideas and uh, you'll be able to design uh, new sort of strategies for some sort of projects that that will be uh, aiding up to your resume um, your profile in future and uh, you'll have a better sense of your core um, capabilities your core beliefs this will be like this i mean this week is going to strengthen uh the mental approach of uh, torians and you mo- you you might also get clarity this week um uh, for the hopes and dreams that you have for the last uh you can say 2 3 years which are not being fulfilled uh till now but now this week will give you very uh, very sort of uh, very positive sort of hope to fulfill uh, fulfill these these uh, dreams as well and uh, when the new moon will arise and it will be in aquarius you may be showing uh, you uh, in the in the uh, beginning of the week you will be a bit down for for let's say 24 hours 36 hours and then you'll brim up you'll you'll come up with this positivity optimism and all that but um, you you'll have to mind one thing that uh, you'll have to let go of the situations that that are creating problems to you to the situations um in which you you will be you can be in this uh, 
uh, uh, coming week, you will have to let go of these situations. You will have to think positively, optimistically, and you have to let go of the negative things. And uh, you will have, you will have, you will find peace, solace in meditating and uh, exploring yourself. Just meditate if you have sort of stress while thinking for the new projects. If you you feel sort of overwhelming, uh, if you feel sort of overwhelmed rather, uh, then you can meditate and it's better to meditate in sort of uh, a place that is very confined to you to yourself you can put green light or blue light and you can meditate you can think in accordance with your religion your beliefs or whatever that will give you peace of mind uh, moving forward to gemini uh, for this weekly horoscope segment uh, i would like to say that uh, Gemini is one of the zodiac signs that is being ruled and governed by Mercury. So for Gemini people, the people who are relating to the zodiac sign or who are born under the sign of uh, zodiac sign of Gemini, they'll be feeling better where, where uh, the relationship is concerned during this week. Uh, there will be a sort of betterment in the relationships. Um, whether it may be a relation between a husband and a wife, uh, relations, husband and a wife, you can say brother, sister, um, your kins, your grandpa, your grandma, your granddaughters, the relations we are talking about. So this would be a week that would uh, highlight the betterment of relations for Gemini. And uh, it's a very good news for the people who had a conflict with their uh, very near and dear relations that during this week there would be chances that would arise in your way that would give you a chance to uh, improve those relationships or to rectify the broken uh, relationship among the siblings rather I can say to put it very simple the siblings who have been uh, I mean, uh, away due to certain uh, relationship breakups, they can get a chance during this week to, to gather again. And uh, it's a good news for Gemini that since the Mercury retrogradation, uh, retrogradation is going to be ended, you can also resolve a conflict um, among, like, it's, it's a sort of, uh, re resolution of conflict among the business partners right so we can say that uh, the resolution of the business conflicts among the partners can also take place during this week for Gemini and uh, I must reiterate the fact that the Gemini would uh, try to improve the quality of the relation as well uh, apart from uh, mending up the broken relationships, you can also try to uh, work over the betterment of the relationships, whether they are uh, personal relations with your siblings or uh, your partners, uh, I mean your business partners' relations. You can work over them to bring them into a better shape. And uh, with the new moon in Aquarius, uh, there would be sort of a wish that would come, that would strike your mind to travel and you will try to sort of fulfill those uh, kind of uh, uh, wish, list, uh, wish list bucket things that you might have planned during the last uh, few months or a year and a half. You'll come up with the... So you may also try to uh, fulfill this uh, wish, list, wish list bucket uh, for traveling thing also and there would be sort of a curiosity for you to learn about the new places you will go you'll visit and uh, about the knowledge you'll try to gather about uh, certain um, objects certain places uh, you can say certain uh, knowledges that would relate to uh, spirituality science you'll be curious all the week but 
stay uh, hopeful that it is going to be a very good week for Gemini as well. Viewers, now we are moving to talk about the weekly horoscope that is related with the Cancerians. I would like to say uh, about the Cancerians for this week, my calculation related to your uh, upcoming week is that uh, you will be uh, will be very strong and uh, sturdy about the future of sort of a relationship. It can be again a marital relationship. It can be um, a, I, I mean a newly wed, uh, wed, wed relationship and um, along with all these relations you can uh, say that the business relations they will also work very well yeah, in the sense that you will be very strong about the future of the relationship relationships that you'll have uh, you you have to be like uh, practicing open communication with someone if you are into a relationship you should not hide the things you should not close your mind doors you should always uh, try to speak up with the people whom you are going to proceed a good relationship uh, you should open your communication with them and uh, what I would like to suggest is that while making a decision related to a business or uh, a trip or I mean going somewhere or opening or cracking up a new deal uh, you have to be very clear about the picture because there would be some hours in this um, upcoming week that you'll find a shade over your thought but again I would say uh, and that would come around the second I, I, would, I, I would say it would be Tuesday that you will find yourself a bit confused and taking or talking to anyone related to your uh, partnership your relationship but be clear that that time would remain for around 12 to 14 hours and then it will it will it will pass away it will pass and then um, you'll be feeling very easy to talk with the people so with the new moon in Aquarius you will be looking within examining um, any sort of uh, behaviors and uh, the attitudes that you want to change uh, for you for yourself and for you for the people you are connected with you will also uh, communicate your thought to the people who are whom you are connected to that they should try to change their uh, behavior in accordance with the betterment of the, the relationship that you are going to have with them uh, uh, the Cancerians are gifted from the nature side, from, they're God gifted, that they are uh, always inclined towards the um, occult sciences, um, metaphysical sciences, or uh, paranormal, sci paranormal sciences. They always have an inclination. So you'll find this week. Uh, very much uh, inclined towards these occult things as well. So you'll find new answers also uh, related to your uh, uh, queries related to this occult science thing. So be prepared for the new answers you are going to get from the uh, occult science thing. So uh, be brave and be cheerful for the upcoming week. Cancerians. Now we move to uh, Leo and for Leo it's also a very good sign because uh, b because the world is now changing is uh, changing its position uh, because uh, of the Saturn that has changed a bit and that will finally change on uh, I think 17th or 18th of April that will finally deviate to a final position that will remain in the same house for a longer time period. Leo overall it's a good week for Leo because uh, 
Previously, they were feeling a bit confused about uh, their tasks, their works. But this week, they will feel less confused about their work. And uh, I would suggest the Leos that as uh, Mercury is ending up the retrogradation process, you should find yourself very clear about the things that you had not been clear for the last past few months. So this kind of uh, situation in the retrogradation, uh, when it is going to be stopped, especially when we talk about Mercury, you should feel confident about yourself in what whatever you are going to plan, whatever you are going to do. You should be very confident. And you you might get very clear on the tasks. Um, but they, they are worth of your time. And you will feel very confident while investing your time um, over the over the things that you have been thinking for the last uh, few months and you were not able to, you have not been able to um, execute those, thing, those things. So you, you, you will find yourself very uh, confident. And what parts of your job uh, hold the most importance, you will also come to know about. Because you have been igno ignoring a lot of things related to your job, your business, your uh, tasks for the last uh, uh, for the last few months, but now this week will uh, this will this week will uh, aid you as a uh, tool to think over what you had been missing and now what what has to be planned. Uh, uh, Leo, I would say that you will find very good. Uh, you will find yourself in a very good position when you are going to. Uh, select some career for you this week if uh, if it is uh, coming your way you will be very easily selecting this uh, um, stepping stone in your career and that would like uh, aid up to the to the uh, that that will give up the reality of the dreams that you have been dreaming of for the last many years so this week plan good and you will have good results for the, for a longer time so i would at the end of this uh, leo uh, weekly horoscope i would say that you have to concentrate you have to focus and you have to uh, think over the situations that you had been through and you are in right now so this week would be full of uh, opportunities that uh, that would be aiding up to your career in short we sum up like this let's talk about the weekly horoscope that relates to virgo virgo uh, i would say that you will be feeling confident this week and uh, as uh, virgo mercury is also i mean your lord so it is ending up the retrogradation um, processes ending up so you will feel more confident you could be um, uh, utilizing more of your uh, creative skills and you'll be looking towards the trades or rather I can say you'll be looking forward to the tricks of the trade and uh, you will try to adapt to these uh, traits as well. And out of these traits you might think to come up, come up with some sort of uniqueness that will uh, uh, help you to boost up your career and your uh, uh, social life as well. And I would say that you might during this week be uh, discovering new hobbies uh, or you're feeling less confused uh, upon a, a romantic situation rather I would say. And uh, with the new moon in Aquarius work will be I mean uh, getting very well day by day during this week you will um, get better day by day and you may want to get organized and you might stick to a routine but that's very good for your uh, uh, career thing your personal life your personal strengths that would i mean this week is going to give you a proper focus over the daily routines that you are going to follow and uh, you might be uh, sort of handling a lot of smaller tasks but in fact these smaller tasks tasks are not uh, smaller they are they, they'll prove to be bigger in the uh, in the longer run in the upcoming weeks or so 
and you'll realize that this week, especially if you take up these smaller tasks, they will, uh, they will, they will. I mean, reap out a big uh, fruit for you at the end of the year. You can say. So this week, uh, you have to. You don't have to ignore small, small tasks. You have to um, pick up all the small tasks, tasks that that are coming your way. So uh, be smart and be sharp in organizing all these smaller tasks. Uh, you might be thinking that uh, in addition, uh, what 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 else you can do? So you you can pr prioritize your health. Um, you, you have to focus your health, you have to exercise well, you have to eat well. Obviously, everyone has to eat well. And for a good health, especially I'm talking about uh, the Virgos, uh, they have to uh, take care of their health. The people who are planning to travel abroad from the place where they reside, uh, from their homelands to the other places like different places of the world they can uh, they can plan during this week and planning of the travel during this week would be very uh, fruitful and result oriented for the people related to the zodiac sign of work